All right, you'll read this a lot. Um, I, I don't tend to use this word. Pseudo dementia is not really a scientific word, but it's the word we use to describe when people have cognitive impairment from untreated depression. Um, the analogy that I give, I, I talked about earlier, like if you asked a, a younger kid to do something while they're watching TV, their mind is full of TV. There's no room for that task to get in. Someone who has a mood disorder and their mind is swirling for any number of reasons, sort of the same thing, right? It's harder for that information to encode and get in. I use this rule of thumb in questions, but not in my clinical practice. Sometimes things that make you good quest test question takers don't make you a good doctor. Just remember that moving forward. If the patient is the one coming in the clinic and saying that they have memory problems, could probably be depression. That's the easiest, you know what I mean? That's sort of how they're, they're recognizing that their attention is poor. If the family member brings the patient into clinic with memory complaints and the patient's like, no, I'm fine, I do all that perfectly, that's more likely to be a question about dementia. So patients with dementia tend to minimize their symptoms or not recognize that they can't do those things. Um, there are other things that can look like dementia, right? So hypothyroidism, B12 deficiency, and syphilis are things that you should rule out before you diagnose someone with dementia.